Hello everyone. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen a bit of a sneak peek at this cleaner. Well, part of this cleaner. Because I was sold this as being brand new and unused, I got it from eBay and it cost me £32 delivered. It was free delivery and um, I won the bid for £32. So when I opened it, and I always pre-open um, second-hand goods from eBay now before I have a chance to make the video, just to make sure they're okay. Because in the past I've uh, opened boxes of vacuum cleaners, etc. Long after I received them, only to find there's something wrong and then I have no comeback. So I was glad to have opened this because far from it being unused, this is a used vacuum. And the the fate of this vacuum is hanging in the balance because I've been going to and fro with the seller. Obviously I put a complaint in saying it's not brand new and unused. And I put a re refund request in and then eBay got involved and it's still going back and forth. So the final thing I've said, well, if it works, I'll take a part refund. And the seller has offered me a part refund of £12, which means this will have cost me £20 delivered. So if it works, I'm going to keep it. OK, right, that's that out of the way. And the first thing I noticed, apart from the smell, I thought, hmm, that doesn't smell too new. The first thing I noticed was the cleaner head. And this is uh, one of the pictures of, I took to share on my Instagram page. So you'll see that pretty good condition isn't it that would almost pass to the uh, untrained eye almost passed as new but not to not to the eye of someone who's opened <laughs> more vacuum cleaners than I care to remember but it's obviously when you turn the, the nozzle over quick glance oh it looks okay but apart from we can see signs of use here hmm but we can also see signs of use mainly all the fluff can you see that oh I can oh well, look at that oh I'm being joined by a little black thing oh <laughs> Daisy no she's being a bit clingy today right oh you smell oh I feel sick right <laughs> sorry folks there look it's used first clue just gonna have to put Daisy out to one side because her breath and her bottom she's been making smells from either end today haven't you darling here's another oh dear look at that look at that daisy won't leave me alone for this video i'm afraid she's having an episode um it's a rather moth-eaten dusting brush yuck crevice tool dirty used here's the hose you know it's in good condition I, you know it looked okay in the single picture on the listing I think there was only one picture but it looked it had the original box I had no reason to believe it wasn't new and unused a little bit of wear on the end of the uh, hose there so that's the hose yes all right Daisy May come on oh I can't cope with that smell I feel sick right <sighs> We've got, by the way, this is a Hitachi CV790. You'll know from the uh, title. So we've got the instruction book. Very uh, basic. And we've got a nasty little dog barking outside. I'm not, it's not going too well, folks. I'll keep my calm. I'll keep my calm. Because I can't do this again. I've just, I've, I'm, you know. Right, we've got some Hitachi important user information here and um, some details of service centres, etc. OK, nearly time to get the cleaner out. We've got three extension ones. And again, see, there's signs of use. And I think finally it's time to have a look at the cleaner itself. go and now we can see 
Now I can see it a bit better actually because I'm now looking at it again with all my studio lights on so I can see even more imperfections. Oh Daisy, please. You're, oh. Daisy's being very naughty. Now of course, the first thing I did was to open this container. Now it's a bagless vacuum. I'm going to have to put you outside, Daisy, I'm afraid. Right, okay. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before Daisy starts barking. So let's get on with it. So it's bagless. This is um, a Hitachi Powerhouse 1100. I'm assuming it'll have an 1100 watt motor. I remember seeing uprights and other cylinders in this colour scheme. Very dull, two-tone grey, isn't it? So, of course, the telltale signs, apart from what I've shown you. And of course, the person I contacted blamed someone else. But, I mean, it's not filthy, filthy, but obviously, look, it's not new and unused. See? Why on earth people do not check stuff? There's no excuse. There really is no excuse. You know, fair enough, if stuff gets damaged in transit, you know, there's not a lot you can do, providing the seller has taken steps to make sure it's packed correctly, things get broken. But when you sell a sell something described as brand new, brand new means unused, completely unused. It's possible to sell something brand new that you've sort of taken out the box and switched on just to make sure it works, but it's not possible to sell something that's brand new that has clearly had more use than just being switched on to check it works. But it's eBay, it's second hand. We know you've got to take the rough with the smooth. And I do buy an awful lot from eBay. So obviously, at, in purport, you know, out of all the ones I buy, I, obviously I get some that are, aren't as described. As you will see on my channel, you've seen me opening quite a few disappointing items. So here's the um, bagless unit with the uh, front swivel caster built into it and the filter um, with some sort of a cage. Um, I don't think this filter is supposed to be washable. Now that sort of detaches. It's, it's all a very odd thing, isn't it? I probably will wash the filter, especially as this, if this works, this is only going to cost me £20 delivered. So it will clean up to almost new looking. But there's the um, the filter and I think it's the only filter because there doesn't look like there to be any provision for filter I don't think it's missing I just think there is no other filter not really sure if that's anything it's not a button but you can see here for some reason a little H and the motor just situated behind that grill so very poor filtration on this if that cloth filter is the only filter this machine has. It might have an exhaust filter. You'd think it'd have had another filter here as well. And looking at the back, there is a diffuser on the exhaust vent, but obviously this doesn't come off. And this would have to be taken apart to access that. You've got on off switch, auto cord rewind, nice centrally located carry handle. This is a bit, bit similar, I suppose, in design to that Sanyo vacuum I unboxed, that bagged pink vacuum. Similar sort of design, of course, this is bagless though. There is a piston style, and again, I can see on closer inspection, there's fine dust in that piston style bad check indicator. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see it. And now looking at the back, you can see more evidence of use. Look at that. I mean, crikey. My advice to anyone selling on eBay is to know what you're selling, to double check it, make sure the description's accurate. If there's anything wrong with it, even the smallest scratch, slight damage, you need to point it out and you need to picture it. Otherwise, you're gonna get problems. That's a bit squeaky. 
a nice cable on it, it's nice quality. Did I say this was made in Singapore? That's what it says. I think that's going to work quite well. I'll do the old uh, cord rewind later. And again, like the Sanyo, it's got a little stopper built into the mains cord to stop the plug from bashing into the machine. And it's a fitted plug. I've no reason to believe that all this isn't uh, original. It's just used. Right, and again, underneath more s scratches and things. I'll have a quick look at this um, rating sticker and then we'll switch this on. So if this works, I'll accept the seller's offer of a £12 partial refund. So I think for £20, once this is cleaned up, that's not too bad. Okay, so this is vacuum cleaner model CV790, 240 volts, 50 hertz, nominal power, 1000 watts, maximum power, 1100 watts, 6.3 amps. The manufacturing number is S371458. Hitachi Limited, made in Singapore. Okay, well I'll put the bagless unit back. It needs to be located, there's a lip here, and a, a sort of cut out or slot here, and we need to put that back there and move it forward until it clicks into position. There we are. So that's the cleaner ready to go. I might as well do the honours now and plug it in. So if this sounds as it should, I think yes, quite happy to pay £20 for that, £20 delivered, uh, not too bad, oh, oh I, thought, I thought for a minute it had a, or has it, oh no it hasn't, I thought it was cracked, I thought it was a little bit broken, just there at the bottom but it isn't, that's how it, sh that's how it should be, so there is nothing broken, if it works I'll be fairly happy with it for £20. Okey dokey. Okey dokey, time for the switch on. Here goes. Well, as far as I know, that sounds okay. I've never heard one of these before in person so I'm not sure but it sounded all right it didn't sound uh, like it was going to blow up or anything turn it on again give it another go It takes a long time, doesn't it, to uh, wind down, but as has uh, quite reasonable suction, I think. I'll do the old suction test, let's get the hose. Yeah, so I think the seller, although yes, I wasn't happy initially, I didn't really want to return it, I was, to be honest, I was hoping to get this for nothing. I was hoping the seller wouldn't respond and eBay would just refund my money because that's happened in the past when I've made a complaint and asked for a partial refund. Um, the seller has just ignored eBay and I've just had all my money back. But I'm quite happy to pay £20 for this. <laughs> Okay, I'll just go and get my um, suction gauge, which should be in the drawer here. And we'll see where this measures. I'm not going to try and guess, I'm not sure. I'm certainly, well, I'll say it's going to be over 60. We've got suction relief doubly. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, there's a symbol. Sort of a star symbol well that's when it's fully closed and of course you can open see it introduces air into the system there to reduce the uh, suction so obviously fixed suction fixed single speed motor this would have been i think this is a 90s vacuum comment below they certainly would have sold this in argos and it was probably fairly popular amongst people who just wanted a simple cleaner and didn't want to pay for dust bags and couldn't afford one of those new fangled Dysons that were 
coming onto the market in the 90s. Yeah, I think that's gonna clean up well. It's probably not one I'll I'll keep eventually. It will get sold, I expect, but you know, I've got a channel that specializes mainly in floor care, another vac, you know, odd washing machine, etc. But I have to buy different vacuums to keep things different. I can't keep showing you the same thing over and over again. Okay, right, let's see how much power this little Hitachi powerhouse has got. <laughs> Well, it measured about 66 on the gauge, but I could hear air escaping once the machine was switched on because obviously there was no air flowing through the machine. So it probably has a suction relief valve or something, but I could feel and hear, I could hear the suction escaping here. So that's possibly what that, there's a little vent just next to the piston bag check indicator. So I'm assuming that that is where it allows air into the machine if it's blocked and I'm wondering if it's anything to do I don't know if it's anything to do with this doobry here doesn't look it's possible that that has something to do with it should I turn it on it's going to be a bit noisy <laughs> A lot noisier without the uh, the bag compartment on or the bagless compartment on. It <laughs> takes a long time to wind down. Uh, at least the piston bag check indicator hasn't seized. That does fluctuate as was blocking the hose. So uh, that works, so everything works fine. So 20 pounds delivered, pretty happy with this. It's Archie Powerhouse. Okie dokie, we'll give it a bit of a push on the carpet. Attach the three wands. And then the main carpet floor nozzle. I think that's very like the one on my uh, little Hitachi tub cleaner I showed you a while ago. It's I think it's very similar, as far as I remember. It's pretty standard Hitachi nozzle. So there we are, that's all fitted on that. It is a shame that we only have two and it's not missing at all because uh, I've looked in the instruction book. It's a shame we don't have the upholstery nozzle because I do quite like the design of the Hitachi upholstery nozzle. Might see if I can get one on uh, eBay in this color, obviously. If I can't get it in this colour, I won't bother. I need it in the same colour. Let's quickly just double check. Yes, it isn't showing a small nozzle for some reason. Nothing to clean upholstery. You'd have to use the uh, little dusting brush. Okay, let's give this a push. Yeah, it's uh, obviously it's a bit hard to push on this carpet. As many vacuums I've looked at since getting this carpet, they are hard to push. It's not too bad though, not like some. Um, yeah, it's quite uh, quite pleasant to use, quite comfy. A nice operating height. If you're a bit shorter, you can have obviously illuminate one of the wands. But if you're taller, you can't add one unless you've got a spare one. But all in all, yeah, it's all right. Certainly for £20, I'd rather spend £20 on a used Hitachi powerhouse than 
20 to 30 pounds on a bagless supermarket vacuum made in China, that's for sure. And yeah, despite it looks dirty, it doesn't smell at all. It's uh, no, it's just a, a normal sort of newish sounding, new, new sounding, newish smelling motor. That's the smell I get from the exhaust. It uh, probably will work on its stood on its end if you wanted it to, because the exhaust vent isn't blocked when you put it on the end. So be able to turn it on. That's fine, that's fine and dandy. All right, as long as the automatic cord rewind works, once this has been cleaned up a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, I'll wash the filter, wash the dust box, just give it a good wipe and a bit of tea cut and then a final polish, and it will look almost new. So we'll go for the older, very, very short mains lead, I must say. Did I pull it all the way out? Well, yes, there was a little bit more left, but not a lot. Let's check the old cord rewind. Yes, that seems to work okay. So, yeah, I'll be able to email the seller and accept his or her offer of a partial refund. Had they listed it as used, it still might have gone for £32, but at least they wouldn't have any, any comeback. But because it was brand new, it's listed as brand new, then obviously, <laughs> I think even someone who doesn't unbox as many vacuums as I do will have realised that this was not brand new. But anyway, it's interesting, another little model to show you, the Hitachi CV790 1100 watt powerhouse bagless vacuum if you have any comments or questions about this itachi do you own one did you own one do you remember what year you had one please comment below i do read all your comments i can't answer every single one i do get a lot not just on youtube i get uh, people asking me things on facebook and instagram as well but i do read every single comment nice and nasty so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon for the next one. Bye for now.